Hey guys, it's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. Today we're in Spartanburg, South Carolina at Noonan Race Engineering. I'm joined by Barry Pettit. This down here is Lightning. And behind us is an all billet Noonan V-Twin and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. All right, Barry, well, thanks again for showing us uh, yet another engine that you guys have going on. This one's pretty cool. It's an all billet V twin engine, and uh, you were telling me that you got you had one out there that was like 900 horsepower or something. Yeah. I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty unique uh, piece for us. <clears throat> Essentially, it's a, a two cylinder version of our 4.9 Hemi. Okay. So um, the idea was to <clears throat> try and shrink it up initially for uh, prototype reasons, mm -hmm. um, and that is actually what this engine is getting assembled for. So yeah. we have uh, some cylinder head ideas and stuff like that that we want to try. So actually, <clears throat> you have your same front drive system. Uh, it's still a normal Hemi bell housing on the back. It's yeah. just two cylinders. Wow. Um, same rocker geometry, everything like that. So as far as a R&D system, it's very effective on yeah. cost and time. Yeah. Just for us to be able to slap something on there and, and see if it makes a difference. So, yeah. Um, we're uh, we're pretty excited about it. It tends to get a lot of attention. A lot of guys are <laughs> trying to fit them in Harleys, um, and we have to kind of show it to them and say it's pretty big. And they'll, <laughs> so it, <clears throat> it, right. it's um, we do have a lot of interest on it, and uh, it's a pretty unique piece for sure. Yeah. No. No doubt about that. So you, you talked a little bit about the, the block there. How about some of the other components that are, are gonna go into an engine like that? So this this is gonna be treated almost exactly like a, uh, you know, a V8 Hemi. Yeah. Um, we have a, a billet crankshaft, um, with, you know, a normal rocker system, exactly like what we're gonna run in a Pro Mod. Yeah. The uh, intake manifold, you see behind you there, it's, yep. it's, um, it's meant for, you know, pretty insane amount of boost pressure to be honest yeah um, we're gonna end up hanging a pro charger off the front of this one the size is not really determined yet on what we're gonna go with okay. uh, something consistent but um, but this would be essentially the exact same thing you could uh, you, you bolt up to a normal V8 Hemi yeah um, That's connecting crazy. rods and everything like that they're all gonna be the same it's a 4 150 uh, stroke 4565 bore size uh, 70 mil, of course, custom camshaft that we've had made. Yeah. Um, so it, it really has all the aspects. Uh, that way we can get true test results. Yeah, that's a pretty sizable cam, especially when you're talking about a V-twin. Yeah. Uh, who do you guys get the cam through? Uh, this cam was done for us by Militia Racing, um, okay. uh, Militia Cams, Charlie. Um, so yeah, I mean, when you look at it, really, I mean, it's about as big as it is yeah. long, but it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty unique piece, but... Yeah. yeah, it's, it's going to mimic exactly like what we would want to run in a V8 platform. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of valve train, again, you got some Manton uh, rocker arm set up here. Mm -hmm. um, you got billet valve covers. Yeah, billet, just about billet everything. Uh, we did do a billet, um, actually, I'll grab it real quick. This is not normal for the V8, but for this we had to do it because there wasn't an option. This is um, this is actually a billet uh, oil pan that we've made for this engine. It's kind of okay. kind of unique. Yeah. Um, you know, we we've actually done some billet pans for uh, for LSs and other stuff like that, but uh, this is going to be you know a dry sump oiling system pickup, of course. Okay. Um, another another piece that we we make in house, O ring seals, all that kind of. Yeah, awesome stuff. Clearance for the main cap studs and everything. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty wicked piece. Just part of the the ability that we have, right? When we do when we work with billet, we can do solutions like this and be able to to whittle something out. But right. even for you know really a, a test piece, you look at the amount of engineering and everything we had to go into just for an oil pan for mm. us to test this is yeah. is pretty pretty impressive. The, the engineering and programming teams they they always amaze us. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So, Barry, again, you mentioned that you guys have had a lot of interest in the V-Twin uh, engine here. You know, guys with Harleys are calling up. Uh, but, you know, what's what's really the 
intended application for an engine like this, especially when you're talking about horsepower numbers, you know, close to a thousand. It was it was originally intended to go into like a nitro application. Okay. Like a nitro V twin. Yeah. Um, certifications for that to happen are a little bit different. And it, to be honest, at this point, I don't think we're too invested into going into that space at the moment. Okay. Um, right now, it's you know, it was really kind of a, a look what we could do piece, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that also helped aid our R and D. Yeah, we did the first one we made. We had a customer that was just dead insistent on he had to have it, um, which is great and it's running well for him. Yeah. But <clears throat> we've we've done another one up here. Just uh, uh, you know, as you guys saw when you came and did the shop tour, we've got our engine dyno going. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of the perfect opportunity for us to have one of these and get some R and D work done. Yeah. But the. The idea is, and most of the people that call are trying to run nitro in this in mm -hmm. a motorcycle. Gotcha. Well, Barry, this thing is very cool, especially because it's based off that 4.9 Hemi that you know you guys have done so well and uh, has a lot of a lot of things kind of taken from that platform. So that's that's neat to see. But appreciate we, it. Yeah, we appreciate the time. Yeah, absolutely, guys. We appreciate all you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out Noonan Race Engineering and everything that they've got going on. Please make sure you check out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.